Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will discuss lung recruitment and how to do it. In physiological terms, lung recruitment is the increase in volume for the same pressure. In clinical terms, infection in a lung lobe creates a consolidated mixture of bacteria and inflammatory cells. This part of the lung will not be accessible to gas flow, and will not be recruitable. However, the rest of the lung may become quickly inflamed but remaining accessible to gas flow. The effect of gravity on this latter part, the lack of respiratory muscle activity in a sedated patient and the load induced by the chest wall in obese patients will generate mostly dependent atelectasis, but a great heterogeneity inside the lung could also exist. This part constitutes the recruitable lung, which can be reopened and kept open by different approaches. Methods of recruitment are 40 cm of water pressure for 30 seconds. 3 consecutive size per minute with a plateau pressure of 45 cm of water pressure. 2 minutes of peak pressure of 50 cm of water and PEEP above upper inflection point. Obese or trauma patients may require greater than 60 to 70 cm of water. Long slow increase in inspiratory pressure up to 40 cm of water. Stepped increase in pressure, that is the staircase recruitment maneuver. Procedure of SRM is, using pressure-controlled ventilation adjust FiO2 to target oxygen saturation of 90 to 92%. Set pressure to 15 cm water above the PEEP and maintain this difference. Then increase PEEP in a stepwise manner to 20, then 30 and then 40 cm water with adjustments made every 2 minutes, that is peak pressure will reach 55 cm water. Reduce PEEP to 25, then 22.5, then 20, then 17.5 or then an absolute minimum of 15 cm water every 3 minutes until a decrease in oxygen saturation is greater than or equal to 1% from maximum oxygen saturation as observed, the de recruitment point. Increase PEEP to 40 cm water for 1 minute then return to a PEEP level 2.5 cm water above the de recruitment point. How can recruitment be measured? There are indirect and direct methods for measurement. First is improvement in oxygenation. Then improvement in complaints. Last is stress index. Tidal recruitment can be estimated with the stress index, a parameter obtained by mathematical curve fitting and representing the shape of the pressure time curve during a constant flow inflation. Thresholds for tissue analysis as done by voxels included in the lung profile are individually analyzed and classified according to their CT number and gas tissue ratio as CT greater than minus 100 means not inflated tissue. CT less than minus 100 and greater than minus 500 means poorly inflated tissue. If CT less than minus 500 and greater than minus 900 means well inflated tissue. Finally, if CT less than minus 900, it means over inflated tissue. CT based methods are not feasible for routine clinical use as they are time consuming and expose patients to transportation and radiation. When merging two or more pressure volume curves starting at different end expiratory lung volumes or PEEP levels, a vertical shift of the PV curve with higher PEEP implies recruitment. This is based on a hysteresis like behavior of the lung as shown here. PV curves can be obtained with a constant slow inflation technique and require sedation with or without paralysis. However no correlation found between PV curves and CT analysis. Next direct method as electrical impedance tomography, or EIT, is gaining popularity as a bedside non-invasive lung imaging technique. Importantly, EIT does not provide images on lunguration like CT scan but provides dynamic information on ventilation, i.e., global and regional changes in lung volumes owing to changes in ventilator settings. This diagram show it's done. And how the final report is seen in the monitor. Lung ultrasound is another popular non-invasive bedside imaging modality. The LUS re-aeration score correlated with PEEP-induced lung recruitment as quantified with PV curves, Whereas LUS allows regional assessment of consolidated tissue that re with higher PEEP, it cannot predict lung overdistension. The last method is recruitment to inflation ratio. The R-I ratio is obtained with a simplified single breath maneuver that can be performed with any mechanical ventilator. For simplification go to this website and enter the values. Can be easily done at bedside. To summarize. 
The main methods to recruit are, high peak pressure, sigh breath, and staircase recruitment method. Knowing lung recruitability is of crucial importance to optimize ventilatory management. Until recently no satisfying universal method was available at the bedside, which may explain why no trials have demonstrated a consistent effect of recruitment. Hopefully, methods like electrical impedance tomography, lung ultrasound, recruitment to inflation ratio, will help in better assessment at bedside and improvement in practice. Thank you.